CSTT is partnering with the police service in the war against crime. CEO Ronald Walcott said the Body Worn Camera Pilot Project will also provide the public greater transparency. Acting Commissioner of Police Stephen Williams concurs, adding why the cameras are needed. Inspector Michael Seals has publicly called on the government to provide the police service with body worn cameras. He has recognized that officers are unduly disadvantaged whilst out on duty with people using cameras from mobile phones to capture parts of incidents, not the whole incident, parts of incidents which may not truly represent the whole incident. The Body One Camera Pilot Project was launched this afternoon at the St. Joseph Police Station. Increased jobs for interns. The Minister of Health says he saw the need for this and took his case to the Cabinet on Thursday. Interns not being able to find positions at the hospital uh, to do their internship. In this year's June intake, we had 254 applicants, but there were only about 192 vacancies, which left about 62 interns out of the opportunity. The minister says that out of 296 cabinet approved positions, 192 vacancies were filled. It, however, was not enough to engage all of this year's interns. But Minister Dayal Singh says they are attempting to rectify this. So I took a note to Cabinet yesterday to create 75 new positions. So all the interns that could not be accommodated in this cycle in June will now be accommodated. They will now be accommodated and all 62 will be accommodated by October of this year. The 75 new positions created will cost taxpayers $8 million. To some sports now, Romania captain Ili Nastase has been banned from official roles by the International Tennis Federation ITF until 2021 following his tirade at a Fed Cup tie in Bucharest in April. He swore at an umpire, insulted British number one Joanna Conta and her captain, and made a derogatory comment about Serena Williams's unborn child. Nastase will not be accredited for ITF events until 2019. However, Grand Slam tournaments are not included within the sanction, nor the respective ATP or WTA tours, as they lie outside the jurisdiction of the ITF. And now for the weather forecast with Ian Wallace. It's been a cloudy, damp end to the working week, with another tropical wave passing through the eastern Caribbean and the ITCZ, its tropical convergence zone, bringing a lot of moisture around. It's also been quite pleasant, no higher than 32 degrees Celsius in Trinidad, 31 degrees Celsius in Tobago. The heavier showers are still likely to come across the hills in particular. Overall, it will be a cloudy and damp evening and night, with spells of rain going into the early part of Saturday. So for sailors, as that tropical wave passes, look for more southeasterly winds, mostly gentle at 5 to 10 knots, but could turn gusty in those offshore showers. With these northeasterly swells, remaining short at 9 seconds, and a mainly slight chop of 1 to 1.5 meters to the Caribbean Saturday. That's the latest weather, and I'm meteorologist Dean Wallace. And that was your CNews update. I'm Karen Kuzia-Philip.